we're going to be palpating the muscle known as tibialis posterior, which is in the deep posterior compartment of the leg. So we're going to be palpating through gastrox and soleus. And for that reason, I'm going to be trying to shorten up that muscle a little bit. So I'm going to be placing my knee up on the table here. We are going to first try to identify where the head of the fibula and that proximal shaft and where soleus is in the soleal line. The reason for that is if soleus is approximately attaching here, then tibialis posterior is gonna be deep to soleus, just a little bit more distal. So I'm gonna be sinking in, and I'm trying to do this nice and gently. However, you're gonna feel a lot of thick kind of tissue. It gets very dense, I should say, versus if you're more on the medial aspect, you're gonna be able to sink a lot easier. But when you're on the lateral aspect, you're gonna have more layers. So the first muscle is gastrox, then soleus, and then underneath that, originating on the proximal posterior surface of the tibia, interosseous membrane, and fibula is gonna be the muscle tibialis posterior. Now, because gastrox and soleus and tib post all do plantar flexion, we don't want to use plantar flexion to help us find this muscle. So instead, I'm going to be trying to isolate it using just inversion. Now, this can be a little bit tricky, but again, I'm going to show my partner here the action I'm going to ask her to do. And she's going to go ahead and do it on her own. Great. But what you don't want is any plantar flexion because that's going to kind of mask it with soleus. So again, let's try just like that while I sink in. Now, if you watch my fingertips, I'm actually getting lifted up and down and up and down and up and down. So that's a good job, just trying to do inversion and I'm gonna follow this muscle down the posterior leg. So it does have quite a long muscle belly that travels inferiorly underneath, as I said, gastroc and soleus with the other two deep posterior muscles it's going to go behind the medial malleolus. So I'm gonna roll the leg a little bit. So we're seeing the medial malleolus here. I'm gonna ask for some inversion into my foot. And oftentimes there's a tendon that sticks up right in this area here. And then it's gonna to start to insert. Now, some people kind of have a joking way of remembering it, that it inserts on every bone of the foot other than talus. However, I'm actually gonna to try to palpate each bone individually. So I'm just gonna change the position of the foot so we can kind of look down on it. So the first bony landmark that I'm going to access is going to be right here on what is known as the navicular, specifically the navicular tuberosity, which should be a pretty easy one for you to find. If they do some inversion again, just start to pull your foot in for me, I'm gonna resist, great. The tendon goes right into the navicular tuberosity, and from here it's gonna splay out across the bottom of the foot. Now to make sure that you're not tickling your person, I'm gonna use more of a firm palpation with this. So I'm going to move back onto the calcaneus, like so, one attachment being of the calcaneus. From the navicular, I'm gonna move lateral across the plantar aspect till we get towards cuboid. In this area, it's going to attach to all three cuneiforms, so medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform. Another way to kind of look at that is you should be in line with toes one, two, and three for those three cuneiforms. And then lastly, I'm gonna use my fingers on the dorsum of my thumb on the plantar aspect. I'm feeling for the base of metatarsal two, the base of metatarsal three, and the base of metatarsal four. So all of that being the insertion of tibialis posterior, which is gonna be really tricky to feel each one of those bones through this plantar aspect, but do your best to try and sink in and showcase all of those insertions. Because of that, this is definitely gonna be a very strong inverter as it pulls all of these kind of bones together, bringing the foot into inversion. And then because it goes behind the malleolus, it's also gonna be doing plantar flexion. So inversion at our subtalar joint and plantar flexion of the foot at the ankle complex. And that's gonna conclude our palpation of tibialis posterior.